honestly, I was giving him an animal. Um, and camp, over time, worked with John, and, and they gave me back my son. Welcome to camp. Gator Wilderness Camp School is located in an off-the-beaten path in eastern Charlotte County on a nature's lover's paradise. Over the past nine years, Gator Camp has served over 150 boys, a lot like me. Many families like mine have found help through difficult situations, trauma, and problems. We did not know we could get help. With these problems from the past and the present solved, it gets us a clear path for hope and a future in my family. There are two main reasons every one of us comes to camp. To learn to help myself and to learn to help others. Each one of us had to make our own decision to come to camp and get help for our problems. While at camp, we live in cooperation with many different insects, birds, mammals, and reptiles. They make their homes and habitats on our beautiful 250-acre property. We all live in group campsites that we plan, build, and maintain while learning to solve hard problems in our lives and having some great fun along the way. It's a boy's world. We were having some problems with John. John was having issues. Uh, he had difficulty uh, making friends in school, keeping friends in school. He was mingling with the, with the wrong people. He was hanging out with the kids uh, who didn't want to do anything but um, stay out all night and potentially commit crimes. It was just really hard to deal with him. He was he was getting older. He was getting that that teen More rebellious, right? That, yeah, that, that teen rebellion attitudes, and I couldn't deal with him anymore. I mean, it was like he was he was going against everything that we were trying to do. My boss had spoken to me a couple of times about um, a camp that her uh, former pastor had been affiliated with. So we looked it up, discussed it, and then called the camp themselves. Um, and the representatives came out here. Um, and while they told us about the camp, it honestly felt like more like we were being interviewed um, than we were interviewing them. After we spoke with the counselors, and, they agreed, and John had agreed, and we had agreed that John would go into the camp I, I really felt kind of bad um, for the camp, and I felt really guilty for me being so happy that he was going into camp. Honestly, I was giving him an animal, um, and camp, over time, worked with John, and, and they gave me back my son, and I'm very thankful for that, and I always will be thankful for that. The camp was amazing, helped counseling us, helping us learn new behaviors, working with John, helping him learn new behaviors, new coping mechanisms. And we realized we weren't alone because we, we really all had yeah. the same story. I could see that this was really, really, that sent as to what was going on. The academic skills um, was another aspect of camp that we were really impressed with. And when John went in, he was, he was, he's smart, but he had his areas of weakness, um, you know, writing skills and things like that. But based on his practices throughout the camp and the planning and all the activities they, they uh, participated in, when it came time for John to graduate from camp and transition back into high school in 11th grade, um, John not only went into regular classes where his weakest skills were, but in his stronger skills, he actually was able to get into the more advanced classes. He wanted to get into sports. He did the running, and he loved it. I mean, he was really into it. And the people that were in that sport, these weren't the druggies. These weren't the people that were 
were going out doing the drinking at night. He had, he had understood who he could deal with and how to deal with himself. And the, 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 the choosing of friends in the past, he knew that those that weren't doing the right thing was the wrong road. And that is one of the things that he picked up on right away. He graduated, my first of five to graduate from high school. Hello, I'm John Blount, and I was in the Buccaneer group for 18 months. Uh, it all began when I had a run-in with the law. I was not doing very good in school at all, and you know, just being disrespectful to my parents. Right before I came to camp, I was on probation, and so I had a couple of uh, court visits while I was in camp, and Chief Greg went along with me to support me. And uh, really speak on my behalf. I didn't know if I was gonna be put in jail or if I'm gonna get off probation or not. That day, they took me off probation and they said the reason why they took me off prob probation was because the choices I made to go to camp and change myself. So the first goal I set when I was a camper was learn to take criticism from others. I was never really one to do that. I was very hard-headed. Really learning to take call-outs from other campers and chiefs and fixing my problems even though I didn't want to was kind of a, it was really hard, but that's what really helped me the most. Uh, learning to get under authority was another thing I struggled with. The relationship I had with my parents was very shaky. I wasn't really respectful to my parents. We couldn't have a conversation without ending up yelling at each other. So now I'm able to hold a conversation. I'm able to just sit down and talk with them. I was never able to do that. I feel that the relationships I really built with my chiefs are, aren't really short term at all. They're lifelong, like a lifelong friend. And when I first came, I wasn't that respectful at all to my chiefs. So before I came to camp, uh, I hadn't read a Bible in a couple of years. But after a couple months in the camp, I opened the Bible for the first time. The encouragement from my chiefs, the encouragement from all the staff around camp, you know, they encourage you to get into the Word and live by the Word. And that is a really big part of camp, and I, I feel that really helps people. So after graduating camp, I went into my junior year of high school. I went from about 30 people or 40 people in camp to over a uh, 500 student body. It was a little bit weird being around all those people, you know, but I was able to just really transition into that pretty well. You know, camp set me up for it. So I was in cross country and track for the two years I was in high school. Remembering the stuff that camp taught me, I was really able to build really solid relationships with people. And I was able to just be myself. You know, that's part of what camp teaches you, is just be yourself. Don't try and impress others. In May of 2018, I was the first of my siblings to ever graduate high school. And that was a very uh, a big moment for my parents and a big moment for me, being able to say that I graduated high school. So a couple months after I graduated high school, uh, Chief Gray came to me and he said, would you like to work at camp? I was like, yeah. I said, I been wanting to get back to camp ever since I left it. A couple months ago, I started working at Gator Camp as an intern in the maintenance portion of it. It's really fun and really good. I, I enjoy it a lot. Great to be back at camp. For you created my in most being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearful and wonderful made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame is not hidden from you. When I was made in the secret place, when I was wound together in the deeps of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. 